Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to the world premiere of the Sandy and Anthony show. We're going to do it every, when we're going to do it? Thursday, 9 p.m. live on Facebook. That's right. So if you guys want to be a part of it, make sure you throw me a friend request. I'll have my Facebook page in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoy. And now, your mama knows. <laughs> Um, you guys know me from doing all this crazy stuff, and I'm usually dragging my wife in it, you know. Um, what was cool is she decided that, okay, so I said, let's have a, sh let's have a show together. Like, I'm always partnering up with people. Even my boy Just Joe, on Wednesday nights, you could see us on Twitch, the all-purpose champion crew. But, um, oh, look, my mom is here. What's up, mom? So um, I said, Sandy, we got crazy chemistry, we're funny, we have a lot of fun together, and we don't mind talking about anything, so what if you and I do a show together? And what was your response? I said, okay. That's it, just okay? <laughs> you didn't tell him, you was like, whoa, I never thought you would ask. No, definitely wasn't my reaction. <laughs> that was a... Uh, might have been a reaction you were looking for. Actually, that was the reaction you had when I told you, okay, and you didn't have to beg me to do it. Oh, look, it's Kevin. <laughs> this guy. Plan B. Wait, not Plan B. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no. Whoa. Uh, Kevin, why is he Kevin. calling you a hey, contraceptive plan? <laughs> hold on, Kevin. What is it called again? Plan um, B. Uh, the B player. There you go. B so. <laughs> anyway, guys, so we're on here because we wanted to bring it to all of you guys and let you know that we will now start to have our own little show, the Sandy and Anthony show, and um, we're going to try to come up with a schedule. Maybe we do it once a week, and we was thinking it would be cool, what's up, man, that um, if we did it on this platform. So we'll bring it to everybody live on Facebook, so it would be like a show, is live, right? And I know people are going to keep coming in, so some stuff we're going to have to repeat ourselves. But um, we're going to also put it on um, YouTube, so where people can watch it back. So uh, what, what are you feeling about this? Let's do it. Well, so I've had a lot of um, things I did in the past, <laughs> and you came along for a lot of things. But this is like you and me. This is, you know. Why don't we tell, tell, tell the people about us a little bit? Oh, yeah, B-plus player. There you go. Kevin, that is you. Kevin, he called you plan B, like, the <laughs> when you... No, no, what When I, you're trying to get rid of a baby. What I'm saying was his mom should have had the plan B. You know? That's messed up, Kevin. Why is he coming <laughs> at your mom? No, I was coming at him. If his mom had the... All right, whatever. So, Sandy, tell him how long we've been dating. Too long. I should have left you a long time ago. Listen, girl... <laughs> You see us sitting here with our yeah. neck pillows. Your it idea. It meant it was my idea. What's up, <laughs> April? How's it going? Oh man, look, my mom's on here. Yeah, mom's on here. Hi, <laughs> mom. Listen, sorry, listen, moms. We don't want to em uh, embarrass you guys, but um, this is you know something we're trying to do. So anyway, let's get a little serious. So tell them how long we've been dating. Almost nine years. And when would it be nine years? September. September what? 25th. Ooh, you remembered. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that, Kev. What's up, Gina? Um, yeah, so September 25th would make nine years we've been together. We've been married. It'd be five years in June. So what we were thinking was... I'm going to be like you, June what? June? Girl, listen, I'm on point with my dates. June 14th. What year? 2015. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I got it. So we're bringing you guys live to our bedroom. And what we wanted to do was uh, we want to tackle some topics. So I, I also, um, what's going on, April? Uh, and we want to make it interactive, too, so you guys could actually comment and write and answer questions as well. So it's not just us talking to each other. It's us talking to you guys. Now, I do a podcast with Big Mike and with Josh Warren. Uh, actually, where is he at anyway? Right. Oh, you know what? I forgot to give you Mike's phone number. So you can call him. You can text his number. Well. On your watch. 
Yeah, I guess I'll have to do that. <laughs> I have to find his number. Yeah, I could do it like that, I guess. So anyway, um, what? but the thing is, when I'm always doing these podcasts and talking to people, um, I'm always dealing with just other guys, right? And so guys are always given the guy perspective, and sometimes I feel like, man, they're not making women look good. You know, they're kind of like, not that they're down in women, but just that I feel like you don't have a woman's voice. So how cool would it be to get my wife's voice on some of these topics and stuff, and at the same time, we could get your guys' voices? You know? women. Well, you know what I'm saying? I was guys as in everybody. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? So um what we wanted to do tonight was for the first episode of the Sandy and Anthony show, was she thought, Oh look, that loser Jose. How come I didn't see his name pop up? Oh that's I see his picture. Oh, there you go. All right. And what's going on, Jose? I just was saying how you, me, and Joe do our show on Wednesday nights. So now that you've jumped in here, I hope you have some feedback for the show. Um, so, Sandy, tell them what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, <laughs> how coronavirus is affecting relationships. So that's the topic, guys. Now, this could even be for people in relationships or people who are single, like Jose, because he's in a relationship with himself. <laughs> What's going on, baby cakes? <laughs> What's up? Um Oh man. Um so w this is what we're doing. Um we are on here to give a male and woman perspective. You know? So we will involve the woman. Right? I'm right here. All right. <laughs> Look, I got glasses on, but I got to, like, lean in. The, the, you know, that's a little far. Old age. Whatever. Um, oh, man, I got <laughs> little Carol coming on here. So for the people who just came in, and, again, we're going to repeat ourselves a couple times, guys. I know it because people are going to keep coming in. But Sandy and I decided let's start a show together. So this is going to be the live format to everybody, and then it will be recorded and put on YouTube so you can watch it later on. Hi, Mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sandy's mom is watching, and my mom is watching. So anyway, we want to talk about relationships during the coronavirus. So it was your topic. Um, what do you, how we start this thing off? So I know a lot of people are working from home, but some of their spouses might not be. That's yeah, situation. she's working from home, and I'm at work. So I think, with that being said, some people that might be working home and their spouse is still working in the office, I'm wondering if there's some kind of, like, you know, weird stuff going on. Maybe the other person's like, are you really sitting home just doing work? Or are you out at the store and I don't know where you're at? Well, that would probably be Jose. If Jose actually had a relationship, a girl would definitely not believe he's home working. I can tell you that for sure. Oh, man, look, this is Monica Little. I knew her when I was a little kid. My brother had the biggest crush on her. Oh, oh sorry for putting that out there. Um, hold on, wait, pause real quick. <coughs> All right. Corona. Sorry, I had to cough. Um, <laughs> all right, look, guys, we are taking this serious, but at the same time, we've been around each other. So if I got it, she got it. We ain't got it. How you know? I'm not coughing. You I just coughing. coughed. You're the one dying, not me. I'm. I got the antivirus. You got the an what? Are you? The anti <laughs> all right, so then, well, if you got the antivirus, then I definitely got the antivirus. You're the so, one coughing. <laughs> so, yeah, to your point, like, with us, we're fine. Like, as far as um, being in a relationship and um, you working from home, like, we don't have that, that issue, but maybe I should think about it now. Like, I, I'm at work working hard. What is she doing? <laughs> I'm working hard at home. What you talking about? Or are you hardly working? Listen, man, my job's important. It's a necessity right now, okay? Look, your mom says she's at work and they got gloves to wear. 
But also on the single side, like, so guys, like, for instance, Jose, oh, you may- Hold on. If you're single, who would you rather be home with during this quarantine time? I don't know if people are going to actually put that out there, but if you are willing to put that out there, put it out there. Now, um, and I will read it. Oh, look, what did Jose say? <laughs> he said, I'll, I'll catch Corona for a little affection. <laughs> Listen, here's my thing, right? Like, are there Corona parties? That, like, there are Corona date parties going on out there? Like, what about, like, what if you were talking to a girl, right? Or what if you talk to a guy? And, like, all of a sudden, this whole outbreak happens, and then you can't, like, and, and he's like, I don't want to see you. But you're like, why not? And he's like, because, and let's say y'all never met yet, right? So you were going to meet. And so he's like, I don't want to meet you because the coronavirus, I'm staying in. Like, would you be mad? Like, how would you feel about that? I mean, how could you be mad over that? It's a crazy time. Some people got to make their own choices. Some people really want to stay in the house, and I don't blame them for it, because that's what they're telling you to do. Right. And other people are like, man, I got to live my life. But guess what? They're shutting that, almost everything that's entertaining down anyway. They're only leaving, like, the necessities. Yeah, out. like, not for nothing, we clicked on the um the movie app today, and I was like, yo. It, it's my, like My that. mom said my dog. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... She'd rather be home with her dog. Where? Listen, I mean, that could be a thing, too. So, say you're not in a relationship, you're single, but you got pets. So, a lot of people would rather choose pets to hang out with than actual people or human contact. I mean, that's kind of how it is sometimes. That's true. People prefer pets over humans sometimes. I wonder if there's people who broke up because of this. Like, imagine the girl who wants you to come see her. And you're like, I'm not going. I'm not going. Like, I'm going to put my boy Big Mike on the spot. So this guy, he don't want to meet up so we could do a podcast. I'm like, dude, let's meet up. We got to crank out this content. No, bro. You know, now, granted, I know there's some people out there that's, you know, washing their hands every five minutes for 20 seconds. I get it. And I know there's a lot of people who don't want to, you know, be around people. And I get it. But I'm like, dude, you go to work every day. Your job got like over 400 people around you. Like, really? Like, really? We can't? Just my me. Mom, my mom said, make sure you have toilet paper. <laughs> she just bought some toilet paper the other day, actually. So, um, I think we're good. For now. Guys, let me let me take this time to put my prediction out there. I personally think this isn't going to go past April. I don't agree. Like, I got a feeling that by the end of April or through in April, we're not going to see that many cases. The deaths or that's happening are going to go down and then it's going to be like there's no more new people being infected plus eventually everybody's not everybody's going to get infected but so many people are going to get infected they're already going to have it it's going to run its course they're not going to have it and then it's just going to be like done what else i don't know look at china the reports are saying they're kind of bouncing back i heard there's a lot of false reports too to make you feel like they're bouncing back i mean that could be true and now they got ships that are hospitals. Oh, I didn't hear that one yet. Yeah, so now they're using ships as extra, mm. like, hospital places for people to go when they have the virus. So people were, not to be funny, but people were making jokes like, I would never get on that ship because they might try to sink that ship and say everybody died. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, this is what people are saying. Wow. It's not me saying it. This is what I've seen on the Internet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean. Listen. It's like a quarantine ship. Listen, me personally, I'll take it like a vacation, man. Put me on one of the quarantine ships. Wait, I need video games though. <laughs> yeah, they ain't gonna have that on there. Yeah, they probably they might have Wi-Fi on the ship. See, that's where cloud streaming come in handy. Cloud gaming, but that's another topic. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, I've noticed some relationships that probably ended because of the coronavirus. I'm sure there's a few. I don't think there's many. I feel like people got to be understanding during a time like this. It is a crisis. So. Yeah, this is crazy. This is like literally like, it's like the closest it's like being thing. The walking dead. Yeah, it's like the closest thing to the Walking Dead. Like for real. Don't go out your house unless it's yeah. for food and necessities. It's crazy. And think about it, just last week we was going to the movies. Like stuff was still on. Like we went to my daughter's apartment on Tuesday, mm-hmm. so Monday. 
Monday, yeah. yeah, and it was a bar open, and people was, and mind you, it was the first day they said the curfew, and people was jamming in the bar. Yeah. And now they're saying you don't want to be in a room with 10 more, 10 or more people, like it should be under mm-hmm. 10, where when they first said it, it was 50 or more. Right. And they knocked it down to Yeah, to 10. 10, yeah. Look, Jose said one family lost uh, four members. I heard about that, yep. That's crazy. Yeah, they're saying Trump is trying to come up with a plan to give people free money. But they're also saying, too, like, because this is such a crisis and people are out of jobs and stuff, because think about it, today they closed salons. I just heard about that in barbershops. Wow. And um, those type of people, like, they don't have, like, a, a backup to getting money coming in besides maybe filing for unemployment, and God knows how long that's going to take. So... Believe it or not, like, all right, maybe Trump is going to do this whole thing where people are getting money, but that's not going to pay everything you have to pay. That's true. So what they're looking into is trying to, like, you know, keep people from having to pay bills during this time, like have landlords not come after you for rent or maybe, like, tell the mortgage mm-hmm. companies, like, hey, people can't afford their mortgage right now, yeah. so give them a break. And look what Jose said. He said, like, the women uh, with kids, they're not going to want their boyfriends around them the kids around this time. Right. And that could be true, because think about it. Imagine you're dating somebody who don't live with you, right? So your, the boyfriend want to come over, but the girl's like, yo, I can't see you because of my kids. It ain't like, oh, well, put the kids to sleep. No, <laughs> no. if you're trying to protect your kids from getting anything, so obviously you're not going to yeah. want that person to come to your house and yo, Jose, spread something. Yeah, Jose, that's a pretty good point. That is a good point. Yeah, I can't believe you came up with it. <laughs> uh, this guy. But that's crazy. So, like, so let me ask you this. If, um, let's say you and I, let's say I went on a trip without you, right? And, um, like I went to, um, the mall or something, right? And then you found it and I called you. So, oh my God, um, this person fell out and, um, they had Corona or whatever, right? What's up, Lacey? And so, um, <laughs> would you tell me not to come home? Yeah, I'd be like, uh, you might want to go to a hotel. <laughs> I don't want that corona over here, all right? Imagine, though. Like, real. Like you. No, talking. I mean, you'd infect the whole house. We got kids here, too. Yeah, but let's, there's going to be a way to get us free of kids. And we could also possibly die <clears throat> if I get corona from you. I mean... So, no, I'm good. All right, well. Lacey, what's <laughs> going on? Hey, how's Lacey. It, ha, matter of fact, Lacey, how's it going with you and having a young son through this time? Yeah, is it crazy trying to keep people away from seeing your son or going right. out in public places now? Because your son is so young. And not only that, you know, they're more prone to germs and getting sick at that young age because they're not developed the way we are. So I feel like, are you having some issues with everything being shut down? Are you having problems finding baby wipes, diapers, formulas? People are going crazy for that type of thing, too. Yeah. So being a single mom, you could definitely give us, you know... <laughs> You know, whatever's going on with you, let us know. That's real. Let me um, let me do this. I'm going to get you Mike's number. Look, my mom just said I heard schools may be closed longer into the summer. Not for nothing, I heard the same thing. I heard that they may not even reopen the schools until next year. So I don't know how true that is for everywhere, but it might be. Listen, listen. What did I just say? This and thing. my mom said me, me and her are going on a cruise without you, Aunt. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. This is a perfect time for y'all to go on a cruise. <laughs> we might not survive that cruise. <laughs> uh, how could I find that? All I want is the, the darn phone number. I don't know. Man. Um, let's see what Lacey said. She said, anxiety. I just drove an hour to get formula, and I'm not working. See, oh, that's wow. the type of stuff right there. Like, yeah. so Trump is trying to figure out how to give people money. Um, I wonder how he's going to get money out to each person and what people qualify for this money. Is it everybody because right. everybody's truly affected? Or is it like, oh, you definitely have to be out of work to receive this money? Um, is it going to be for, like, single moms or... You know, people that were on welfare, are they going to get this type of support before other people do? Or is it all just going to go out to everybody at the same time? Right. Because look well, at so, Lacey's situation. She's a single mom that's not working right now. 
She just drove an hour to get formula yeah. somewhere. Now I feel right. like I feel like she definitely needs the support because you got to think about it. How are we gonna? They're gonna give the government's gonna give everybody the money all at one time, right? But I feel like she deserves it. So I wonder yeah. if they're gonna make you apply for it and have to prove have like proof. Yeah, like something saying that you're unable to work because you have a young child. Because technically, nothing really affected us yet. You're still working, but work from home. My job actually made me um us have uh, re- different hours. So I'm coming in a half an hour early and leaving a half an hour early. And then we actually got cleaning times. So they blast on the intercom at 9 o'clock. Everybody is cleaning time. And, and certain people have certain spots where they clean. And then we even have um, at 2 o'clock another cleaning time. And then you got to clean your desk. And also it's mandatory to stay six feet away from people. Yeah. So that's what my job is doing. She said Redner's has been pretty... Good at getting stock in. That's good because a lot of these stores are still out of stock for a lot of things. So, Lacey says she thinks it's going to get worse, but something's bigger going on. But uh, I don't know. All right, we got. I mean, I've heard a lot of people's. Um, a lot of people are saying like, "Oh, is there something more to why this coronavirus started? Is there something with the government trying to devise another plan and get people's minds off of something to do something else?" I mean, people have all kinds of theories. And, hey, listen, whatever your theory is, that's your theory. Yeah. But at the end of the day, nobody could really come down and be like, that's definitely what happened. Right. Because I heard that over on this website or that website or this person told me that. Not for nothing, that's how the whole hysteria mm-hmm. starts. People start spreading stuff about this and that. So you look, don't know it's true. So Lacey said the, it's the beginning. Life will never be the same. Um, Just want to say what's up to uh, Crystal and Jasmine because they just jumped in. Um. So, guys, we're, you know, this is going to be our first show. We're going to do a thing every so often. We're going to come to Facebook, have it live. We'll put the the video on YouTube later on down the road. But um, today we're talking about relationships and the coronavirus. Or just so, even the coronavirus and infecting people who are single with young children. Yeah. Pretty much this show is pretty much even relationships, but also anything that's affecting you right now with coronavirus. Like, how is it affecting your life personally? And yeah. you're free to comment, and we could talk back and go back and forth yeah. about it. Yeah, and Crystal, you got a young baby, too. So, like, how's things going for you? And then, Jasmine, what you said, your job just uh, cut off nights? Is that what you just said? But, um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. It really is crazy. Yeah. My friend yeah. Lacey just wrote on here for the person, Crystal, that has a baby. She just wrote she drove an hour just to get formula, so... I mean, uh, so Crystal just said, should we be social distancing from our families? You you really need them glasses, don't you? Listen, it's kind of <laughs> all right. Whatever. What but, would um, what would having money do for her? Nothing, because everything's sold out anyway. So just because she gets that money, she'll have to travel to get the milk. Um, I, mean, I mean, that's another good point, but I think eventually they're going to be able to catch up and restock things right. if people are limited to what they can buy. So I know certain stores are saying you can't grab more than two things of toilet paper or you can't grab more than, you know, a couple cans of formula right. at a time. And they have to do this because people went nuts, so now the shelves are clear now. So yeah. they have to ration stuff until they can stock back up. Yeah. Now, I think if you... um. Good night, Mom. Oh, she's getting off? Yep. She's gonna be at work in the morning. Good night, baby cakes. Um but yeah, I think um I think uh Crystal had a good point. Um I think you kinda like all right, so it depends on your level of fear, right? If you're really afraid, then you probably should distance yourself from your family, which is kind of crazy, but you probably should. Because here's the thing, I feel like I have a strong immune system and I'm like never sick, right? But who's to say that I might not be a carrier and then somebody uh, uh, elderly end up dying because of me, you know? Yeah, I mean, anybody could pass it on, and it's more of a thing for older people. You yeah. might want to stay away from your grandparents if you feel like you're getting sick, or even if you just have a cold at this time and you're not sure what right. it could be. You like, should do it yourself. That's sorry. disgusting. Well, yeah. I had a cough. You're nasty. I um, thought you don't get sick. I had the cough. You've had this cough for like two weeks. You might have it. might have it. Listen, we got to also, when the new people jump in, we got to say what's up. Because Richie just jumped in. Jessica jumped in. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. Nikki's in. And Nikki's in. And um, we're having a conversation about 
pretty much the coronavirus. We started off by talking about relationships and the coronavirus, but I think it's a good topic to just talk about it in general. You know? Crystal just said you can be a carrier and not even know. It's pretty scary, yeah. Yeah. No, she's funny. I'm not funny. She's funny looking. All right, whatever. (laughs) So, but yeah, what's up, Jessica? Um, Um, You know what? I want to ask Jessica a question. So, Jessica, you know, with the coronavirus and everything going around, how is things with, like, the church community and people with praying and, um, you know, anybody who's truly into the church and religious and into God and believes in God, this is a trying time. Are people turning to their religion? Are people turning to prayer right now? Let us know because yeah. you know, a lot of that stuff people don't talk about, but we're free to talk about any of that. Yeah, believe and, in God, and, not, you know? and not for nothing, like, imagine some people are like, like, oh, I can't believe what's going on. Like, how could God do this? You know, people get into that type of stuff. <coughs> what did Jose say? Jose said people might get that money and then use it to buy all the stuff up again and then flip it, like like uh, toilet paper for $100. People are really doing that. <coughs> I mean, terrible, listen, if you want to... Nobody could stop them. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that's just capitalism. If you want to capitalize because of that, cool. I mean, I'm, you, I'm sure there might be a way to get in trouble, maybe down the road, but... <laughs> Uh, you can't stuff like that always happens you can't really stop it oh wow she said churches uh here are shut down i believe it because look everywhere where there's social gathering they're starting to shut that down yeah and it's supposed to be with that being said let me ask you this are you guys doing online church is your pastor maybe doing videos of daily sermons um is there a prayer group through like video chat any of that stuff going on Do you want to call Mike now? Sure. All right. I had found his number, and now i got to find it again. There you go. Um, guys, you could even call in and be on here, too. Um, so we got a buddy of ours. He's going to call. What's up, Ron Ron? So we're going to call a buddy of ours. And, uh, Jeff said we're doing online groups through Zoom to stay in community. We're also offering support to those in need. The church is not confined to a building, so we're doing online service with worship. What's up, Mike? Here, she put a little bit more. Let me see. Oh, okay, got it. So, um, Mike, um, your first caller. Here, let me put him up here. So we wanted to have you uh, on here. So we were talking about relationships. What's up, oh, what's up, Lance? My nephew. You got beat up in Fortnite last night. But anyway, so um, we were talking about relationships um, with the coronavirus. You know, how could they be sustained? But then a lot of people, we're just having an open discussion about the coronavirus. So I'm going to ask you a question. You're real vocal to me as we talk about you believe it's going to be pretty much is going to last longer and it's going to be pretty serious. So just tell the people what's your feelings on um, how long is this going to go and, you know, how, how um, you know, what's your feelings on it? Okay, I'm just talking. Did you introduce me or I'm just, I'm just talking? Like, oh, you know, all right, hold on, hold on. Guys, this is my friend, Big Mike. Uh, earlier I mentioned him that uh, he's uh, a guy that I do podcasts with. We actually got our own YouTube channel now called Big Mike and Little Ant. But uh, he wanted to come on here and personally speak. So, guys, make sure you let me know if you can hear him. If you can hear me, I'm sure you can hear him. But go ahead, Mike. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed part one of episode one. It was an hour and a half, so we didn't want to keep you guys for too long. So we broke it up into three parts. So stay tuned for the next part. And don't forget to see us live this Thursday around 9 p.m. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content to keep up to date with everything that's going on with the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And now, your mama knows.